Morning to all of you. We are tracking the massacre in Las Vegas. At least 50 people have been killed. 406 people taken to local hospitals after the gunman, identified as Stephen Paddock, opened fire from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel. That 64-year-old shot right into a crowd that was enjoying a country music concert. Two L.A. County Sheriff's deputies are among the people who have been shot. One is listed in critical condition. We're waiting to hear more details from the Sheriff's Department about the other. And an LAPD officer is also hurt. We're going to take you live to CBS 2's Cara Finstrom in Pacoima at this hour with details about her condition. Cara, what can you tell us? Yeah, first off, Sharon, we've just learned LAPD Chief Charlie Beck will be speaking this morning about all of his officers. We've learned a number of them who were at that concert when this gunfire started. Now, the officer who was hurt, we've learned she is 33 years old. She's a seven-year veteran of the force. She was working here, had just gotten a promotion, and had gone to a concert, was off-duty with friends when the gunfire started. Her partner's working tonight. She works our shift, so most of the people that know her were here tonight when this thing was unfolding. And piece by piece, you know, every few minutes we were getting calls. It was scary to watch it, especially now that we're seeing, you know, the numbers that are coming out of there, how devastating it is. She was very fortunate and very lucky, and, you know, we're grateful for it. Sergeant Fred Cueto tells us the officer was texting them as everything happened. He says ambulances started pulling up right away, but she couldn't get to one. So he says she hid until it was safe to move. Now, ultimately, she got into a place where triaging was going on. Uh, she had to wait because there were others with more serious injuries, but she had been shot in the leg. Sergeant Cueto tells us three other officers from his division were also at the concert. Uh, they've all checked in, he says, and none of them were hurt. He says officers are allowed to carry weapons in most states, but that certain venues do not allow them in. And his officers tell him they were not allowed to carry their guns. Now, he says everyone here simply feels relief knowing this wounded officer is safe. He talked with us a little bit about her injury. She was shot in the left knee. Uh, it went in and out just above the just above the left knee, but she's in stable condition. They've got her over there. The department actually sent our captain up there to visit her. Now, we also have learned that there are a number of other officers, as we said, who were up there. Uh, Jeff Sharon, Bakersfield PD, says one of their officers was shot as well, but he is also being treated and expected to be okay.